Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Sorry there haven't been a whole lot of videos lately. There haven't been any videos lately. Uh, I got a lot on my plate and because this channel is my hobby, it has to take a back seat to other things in my life. Uh, yes, it, also it is the holidays so I'm spending a lot more time with the family and during the day I'm working on projects I can't talk about. So videos will be few and far between until at least probably the middle of January and then we'll, we'll try to work back into some semblance of what we used to do. Maybe not daily, but maybe two or three videos a week. Anyways, today we are talking about Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark. I'm pretty sure I checked this time to make sure I got the name right. That's how uh, the uh, YouTube video that I watched, that's how it was pronounced. So that's what I'm going with. This book is about uh, a woman named Marise. Um, or I don't think it's Maris, um, but it might be. It's M-A-R-Y-S-E. I couldn't find a definitive uh, pronunciation either way, so uh, I'm going to go with Marise. Um, this <laughs> Marise is a... Uh, it's, it's rather an urban fantasy, but it's like a historical urban fantasy kind of deal. It, it deals with uh, 1920s or 1930s Georgia. Uh, it happens in Macon, a town that I'm very familiar with. I used to live in Warner Robins way back in the way back. Um, but it, I, I'm familiar with the town. I'm familiar with the history. Um, they, they're... There isn't a whole lot about the town, um, but most of the stuff uh, having to do with the clan and all that stuff rang true to me. Um, what this book is about is Ku Klux Klan members, some of them are actu actually literally demons, and Marise is a demon hunter. She has a cool sword. Uh, sometimes it's smoke, sometimes it's solid. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it works, um, but it was believable while I was reading it. Um, I didn't ever question, wait, it only worked this way, this way. It, it, it felt true. But the, the, the writing here is amazing, but it's also written in, what is it, Patois? P-A-T-I-O-S. It's written in uh, vernacular, so you're going, you're not going to find all, proper grammar all the time, but there are some beautiful passages in the story. The writing's fantastic. It is consistent all the way through, but I think what, what hit me the most here, and I said the same thing with uh, Priya Sharma's Orm Shadow, is the author, Clark, he commits to the ending and goes all out batshit crazy. Um, the ending is epic. Now, it's it's not weird or abstract or anything like that. It's it's very clear what's going on, but there's an epic battle sequence at the end. Um, the, the Butcher <laughs> uh, is a character that I'm going to be thinking about for a while. Um, I, re I can't remember who it was, if it was S.A. Cosby. Somebody was talking about racism is far scarier uh, when the when the racist isn't explicitly saying the n-word you know isn't explicitly being you know racist uh they're being racist but not explicitly so they're not saying you know those damn n-words or that that kind of thing it's more of a it's it's a casual flippancy to uh the a degradation of an entire race of people there's there's a lot of that in this book and i appreciated the subtleties of it of it and i think i think that's i think butcher the character is probably the best in the book. I like Chef too, but I I really really like the villain here. Um, and it's not the main bad, but it's close to it. When he is revealed for what he truly is, that was uh, it was unsettling to me. I don't know how you will feel. So I I'm gonna classify this as horror because there were sections of this book that I felt were were supposed to unsettle you. And I don't really catch that too much in like, most urban fantasies. Like uh, Richard Cadre's, Cadre, whatever, um, his Sandman Slim series, n never did I sit back and go, wow, that's pretty creepy, that's pretty scary. But, but this one is more along the lines of horror than, say, like a Sandman Slim kind of deal. Um, so I even, I even hesitate to call it urban fantasy because I don't want to chase anybody away. If you like horror, you're going to dig this book. Um, it's not... Uh, a bunch of ac action sequences. There's there's literary merit in it. It's a very short book. I think it's like 186 pages. Um, I blew through it in like two days. Uh, the writing is terrific. Uh, I, 
I have a lot of stuff. I don't know how I ended up with so much stuff from Clark, but I also have another novella, and I think I have a short story also. I'll be jumping into those uh, as soon as possible. But this ranks up there with me with Orm Shadow and The Ballad of Black Tom. I think they're all also published by Tor. Tom Doherty, Doherty and Associates, I'm not sure. But anyways, this book's fantastic. I have nothing negative to say about it. I had fun all the way through. There were parts that were creepy, parts that were funny. There is a lot of humor in here, but it's not a horror comedy. It's just sprinkled in there to just kind of give you a moment to breathe uh, before the next craziness begins to happen. So have you read Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, it. If you loved it or hated it, tell me why you loved it or hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!